Make your own notepad with Cricut. Step 1. First, create a notepad design or search and download one to use from the internet. Step 2. Drag and drop the file to Cricut Design Space, select Complex and click Continue. Step 3. Click Apply and Continue, select Print then Cut Image, and click Upload. Step 4. Select the uploaded image and click Add to Canvas. Step 5. Once the image loads into the canvas, unlock it, then resize it to the size of the notepad you want. Step 6. If you want to customize the notepad, go ahead and add the changes. Step 7. Once done, rotate it to 90 degrees, then duplicate it. Step 8. Pull down the duplicated design, then select both, and click Attach. Step 9. Click blank canvas on the bottom right side of the screen, click color, and then change the color of the canvas. Step 10. When you're ready, click make, then click continue. Step 11. Click send to printer, select your printer, turn on use system dialog, and click print. Step 12. Pull down the design space window, and set the print to media and quality from the print dialog box. Step 13. Click Feed from drop-down and select Rear Tray, set the quality to Best, and click Print. Step 14, while it's printing, click on Printed, and click Send to Printer. Step 15, turn on Use System Dialog and click Print. Step 16, in the Print pop-up screen, set Feed from to Rear Tray, set the quality to Best, and click Print. Step 17, repeat the same steps and send as many copies as you need to print. Step 18. Once you've printed as many copies as you need, place the printed page on the mat and smooth it down. Step 19. Set base material to medium cardstock, load the mat into the machine and start cutting. Step 20. While it's cutting, place the other sheet on another mat. Step 21. Once it's done cutting, unload the mat, then load the other mat in and start cutting. Step 22. Peel off the first sheet from the mat and place the other sheet into the mat. Step 23. Repeat the same steps until all the sheets are cut, and set the pages aside as you go. Step 24. Next, grab the craft board for the back and place it on the mat, then smooth it down. Step 25. Go back to Cricut Design Space and click Done. Step 26. Select the design, click Detach on the bottom right side of the screen, and duplicate one of the layers. Step 27. Pull the duplicated layer aside, select the initial two designs and click Attach. Step 28. Select the duplicated layer, click the Operation drop-down and select Basic, then change the color to brown. Step 29. Once done, click Make, select the second mat, set the material size, and click Continue. Step 30. Click Browse All Materials, Search and Select Craft Board, then click Done. Step 31. Load the mat into the machine and start cutting. Step 32. Once it's done cutting, unload the mat, peel off the backer from the mat, and line it up with the notepad sheets. Step 33. Clip it as close to the top as possible with binder clips on both sides. Step 34. Grab glue or sealer and apply it to the top portion with a paintbrush. Step 35. Once you've applied the first layer, let it dry completely, then go in and apply a couple more layers. Step 36. Once you've added all the layers, let it sit for 24 hours with the clips on. For more such help and information, visit us at www.mannymaker.com or call us at plus one seven eight six eight six six five nine three two plus four four zero two zero three nine eight three zero four eight zero.